he was he's like this huge man, you know, like you don't you like he's like very intimidating at first and then once you like get to meet him he's just like the nicest guy. Yeah. But like at first like he's like you know you see him, he's he's like six five and he's just a mountain of a man. He has tattoos, Whoa. piercings, all that. Like, come on. I was scared of Bill and, for yeah. like the first month. <laughs> Bill is very sweet. He's he's a big teddy bear. Um, come see me in my store and get pierced. <laughs> well, you fuckers that are watching this. No. <laughs> um, I think a lot of it is uh, rite of passage. You know, I get a lot of 18-year-old girls that when they turn 18, they come in and get their nipples pierced right away. Or their clit hood pierced right away. Or you know, I had an 18-year-old guy that came in and got his his uh, apodravia the other week, you know, so that's kind of like a rite of passage for them. We started out selling jewelry at, um, at a biker's dance in Manville on Friday nights. And it grew from there. People wanted to get their ears pierced and it just, uh, you know, it just became so much more popular uh, piercing as you know, as the time went by. I would say Modern Primitives, which is a book that came out, <clears throat> that, uh, that and the fact that I had a jewelry business and people wanted to get it done. Um, I was already into tattoos and I had uh, been over at Huggy Bear Ferris's studio in uh, Brooklyn and this professional photographer, um, Efren Gonzalez, he, uh, he showed me his Prince Albert and he showed me his nipple piercing and I thought that was pretty crazy and I'm like, oh, I could never imagine doing it, you know, getting it done. But then I guess it stuck in my head somewhere and, um, you know, eventually I <laughs> ended up having it myself. We started doing biker runs and things like that and Bill started studying piercing and he was, you know, going into anything that he possibly could to find out mm -hmm. exactly how things should be done and he practiced on his friends and yeah. things like that. Uh, I started talking to people from LA and watching as many videos and getting as many magazines and stuff on the subject that I possibly could because nobody was really doing it on the East Coast at the time except for this guy that I met at a swap meet from Maryland and he had these needles that were like this long and um, he said, I only do the women's. I don't do the man's. <laughs> I said, okay, this is not the guy I want to learn from. Um, you know, so I just started, uh, you know, like I said, talking to other people on the on the West Coast, and uh, then I just started doing my working on my friends, and it just blew up from there. He started piercing out of his house then, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, he. Did, in fact, where he lives, it's, it's legal to have a business. So, mm -hmm. and we and then we started doing mail order, and and then we we both had to quit our jobs. I had a job in New York City working for the president of a company, and he worked on the docks. And we got this shop because we were just too busy. We just couldn't handle it anymore. We didn't have enough time in the day. The phones were ringing off the hooks, and people were placing orders. And so we gave up our jobs, and we open the shop in a thousand square feet in the shop in back of us. I told them we were going to open up a piercing shop and I said would you guys have a problem with that and they were like no. I said, they're like we don't know what the town will say and they're like I'm like yeah I know I'm a little afraid of that but I know they don't have a law on the books and so we discussed it and they said well you know I said, you know, I'm in business with my mom and blah, 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 well, blah, blah. He'd be more the one to talk about it, but he went to meetings for years because it takes a long time before they finally came up with it. But um, we, you know, we've had visits from the state of New Jersey in here. They inspect and they talk to him about like, what would be the best way to go, the procedures and everything, and that's how it was written up. Two years ago, I, we met again, and we just, uh, you know, went over the revisions and and just made sure all the wording was right in it and everything again. And uh, you can look it up; it's on NewJerseyGovernment.org. Um, it has the laws for it. Okay, so counter. The piercing rooms over here. Have you been in the piercing room? Piercing room, our chair. It goes a million different ways. Lay it back. We can put you in the Strand-Dellenberg position, which basically means your head is lower than your feet. 